Thank you, Glenn. And thanks, Miko. Miko, congratulations on an incredible career. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I saw your comment in the statement about the, the frustration, you're not being able to play at the standard that you wanted to play. I wonder how much some of the other things have played into this as well. The COVID at the start of the season, the fact that you're not really uh, able to acclimate with your teammates as you would in a normal circumstances, get to know the guys. I think you're away from your family. Was it just all getting to be a bit much? Uh, I'm sure uh, that all has has uh, impact on it. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't really kind of thought about it all uh, in, in, in that way. I mean, uh, for sure that I think for, for any athlete or, or any hockey player, uh, it is challenging times. And, and, but I knew, uh, I knew that coming into the season, we had a little bit of uh, taste on that in the, in the playoffs, in the bubble last year. So, uh, but I think for, for my decision, uh, it's kind of like where it came down to was, was really that I, I wasn't able uh, to play at the level that I want to play at. And, and I think, uh, or I feel for myself, uh, if I can do uh, the job on the ice, the way I want to do it uh, also impacts me uh, in the room, uh, the, the way uh, I've been, uh, or, or the things that I trust and, and kind of wanted to do uh, year in, year out uh, so far. So I think just as a whole, uh, just every game was kind of like I had to push to get ready and, and, and then I just couldn't get to the rhythm, uh, couldn't, didn't just, just didn't feel the, the, the way I want to feel as a hockey player and, and, and being also able to enjoy the game. Uh, other than that, uh, I just want to be very clear with that, like, uh, the room and, and, and my teammates, uh, the coaching staff, the management here in Columbus, it's been just first class. And, and that's the sad part. Like I really enjoyed my time with them and, and, and enjoyed my time in the room and, and playing with those guys and, and, and all that playing for, for uh, Tortorella and his coaching staff. Uh, that all was, like I said, just, just an un unbelievable experience for myself after so many years in Minnesota. So it really just came down to uh, the, the feeling what I had on the ice and, and uh, uh, just wasn't able to, uh, like I said, get to the level that, that I want to, that I want to play at and, and, and being able to help, help the team to win. You were a healthy scratch last night. Did, did that play any role in this? And did you have any indication that maybe your role was not going to be what you, you expected it to be? Not at all. Uh, last night not, has nothing to do with that. And, and I had a really good conversation with, uh, with, with uh, Coach Sordorella and, 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 and Yarmo uh, Kekalainen this morning. And uh, I think the only thing on that was like, it just kind of, I didn't get the feeling that I want to, I don't know, really get back in there. And, and, and it just kind of, it, it's been on my, on my mind for a while now it's it's not just a i made my decision uh over one night or something like that so uh that that last night uh getting stressed had really nothing to do with with my decision on on uh why, why i wanted to uh to, to make this today it was more about that uh, uh also giving the team um uh, them knowing like who, who they have we have a lot of a lot of a lot of guys on the lineup uh, kind of in and out, so I think it's also fair for them, and and, and but, but also I think it's fair for myself to uh, uh, to see. It. It's it's been a couple of weeks now, and and I always trusted that as, as long as you you put the work in uh, each and every day, uh, you will get to the level that you want to be. And I, I just wasn't able to uh, to to get there. I feel like. Thank. You. Next, we'll go to Jacob Myers. Go ahead, Jacob. Miko, congrats on a great career. And you kind of cleared up um, anything there about that it was nothing to do with the room or anything like that. So I'm curious, did you come into the season thinking at all that it would be your last 
your last season and, and you said it wasn't just because of last night. So I'm curious when that first thought maybe crossed into your head. Uh, for, uh, coming into the season, I, I think you, for sure you, you think about it and, and I did think about it. Uh, I thought about that last year. Uh, I thought about that after the playoffs. Uh, but then when I had an opportunity uh to, to come uh, to Columbus and, and then play for them. I got really excited again, and, and I was excited to, uh, to join the team. Uh, when did it first happen? I, I don't think I really have an answer for that one. Uh, I think it just kind of slowly uh, got the, the feeling got stronger and stronger uh, going into the games. And uh, it just... Uh, I, I don't know. It, it, it's hard to describe. It, it, there wasn't any just one moment. I talked to the people close to me, uh, kind of wanted to, uh, uh, not that they can make the decision for me. It's, it's, it's on, on me. And, and then, but it also always helps to, uh, to talk to the people that you really trust that, that really knows you, who you are and then things like that. And I think at the end, it just came to the, to the bottom line is that I, I, I have to be honest for myself. And, uh, and, and that's what it really is. I think uh, I, I put some thought on it for, for a while now. And, and it just felt, felt the right thing to do uh, last night, also actually after the game. And then when I, like I said, when I talked to Ayarmo and, and, uh, and the coach this morning. So uh, it was, it was more about that. Like I said, just the feeling what I had, and I felt that uh, uh, I, I need to be honest with myself and, and, and the way I want to leave the game, I guess. Okay, next we'll go to Jesse Pierce. Go ahead, Jesse. Hey, Miko, congrats on a great career. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, yeah, I mean, how are you feeling? Has it really sunk in yet? I mean, it took you a lot of time to come to this decision, and I'm sure not an easy one. I mean, what are your kind of emotions today as it starts to settle in a little bit and you're speaking with us well it hasn't for sure I mean uh like I said I I, I talked to the uh, uh the manager management and, and the coach this morning and and then kind of got got done with the with the, the paperwork uh that side of things and uh talk been talking on the phone a lot so I guess I feel a little bit tired <laughs> and uh and, and, but I, I think at the same time, like the, the unknown, uh, for sure, that scares me, uh, talking to, uh, like you said, the close people, uh, that I, that know me and, and, and who has gone through it. Uh, it's, it's something that I'm sure you can expect. Uh, but it's something that kind of for the first time in, in my life, uh, you really don't know. Uh, what, what's gonna what's gonna be next and uh that's 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 something that i'm sure it's gonna be a challenging and uh, something that you have to just give it time and and then go kind of step by step here but uh like i said i haven't really even had time to talk about it or uh think about it and and so i don't think it's even realistic that it really you don't really know even like what, what's, what's happened and, and, and things like that. But I'm sure in the next couple of days, it'll be, uh, you'll, you'll get the feeling and, and, uh, and then just, uh, like you said, move on, move on for the next chapter in, in my life. Maybe, maybe tomorrow then, huh? Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you had mentioned you spoke with a lot of those close to you and you even did that before the season started. Who were some of those folks for you that you went to, to help you make this decision? Uh, well, a couple, couple of my friends and, uh, and, and then uh, to, to my family, uh, talk to my brother, obviously he's, he's gone through it a couple of years ago. So, uh, I think those are, like I said, you, you always have to do, make the decision on, on your own. Uh, but I, I think it also helps to, uh, to kind of get their feelings about it and, and, and how they see things and, and, and things like that. And, and everyone was totally supportive and, and, <clears throat> And then I think the last when I kind of knew or it felt right decision was when I talked to uh, uh, Yarmo, the, the GM here, and the coach Sorella. Uh, they were both very supportive, and uh, and so that kind of gave me the peace peace of mind 
that uh, that the decision is right for me. And and uh, like I said, I'm grateful for the chance that that they gave me, and and I had an opportunity to come in, experience something new uh, with the great great team, uh, great teammates, uh, the way they run the organization, and and, and everything about it. It's just it, it's been a great experience. So uh, uh, that was for me. Once I had a really good talk with them uh, after that I, I kind of felt like I said kind of the peace and uh, on my mind and, and uh, kind of felt that it, it was the right thing to do for myself great thanks congrats again Miko thank you okay next we'll go to Tom Galitti go ahead Tom Congratulations, Miko, on a great career. Just, I know it's it's just kind of hasn't settled in yet. But if you look at, back at your time, your sixteen seasons, uh, what what was the what is the best memory? Maybe some of the best memories you might take take away from this. Uh yeah, I knew uh, this question would come. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's I, I don't think I have an answer for you right now. I don't think there is one moment or or anything like that. Uh, I think it goes uh, obviously. The short time here now, uh, it's on, on the top of my mind, like uh, with the teammates and, and, and things like that. But then obviously Minnesota uh, just really became home for me. And, and uh, the, the way I was always uh, treated there uh, by the fans, uh, uh, the organization, uh, my teammates, all that. And also Team Finland, uh, the, the great memories with them. And, and I think just as of right now, I, I think I look back and, and how much I got from the game of hockey, uh, the people involved uh, and things like that. I think uh, that's something that I, I really appreciate. And uh, I'm sure looking back in, in the next couple of weeks and, and, and things like that, you're, you're starting to realize like uh, how special it actually was. I know it's again very fresh, but do you have plans to try to maybe hope to stay in the game in some way? Yeah, I think so. Um, what it is, I, I I really don't know that. Uh, but I, as of right now, I I, I really uh, I like that part of the game, and like I said, like being in the room and and then being in that environment, uh, I think uh, I, I think it's something special and. Uh, and, and I don't want to just stop and, and I'm not going to stop following hockey. Uh, I think there's, it's, it's just the, the game of hockey and, and, and the people who's involved. I, I think it's a great game and, and something that I've done all my life. So uh, hopefully the, there's something that, uh, that I will find uh, with the game. And, and uh, uh, but I, I think uh, time will tell on that one. And, and now I just, I guess want to, take a relax a little bit and, and then take some time off and, and, and really think about it. And, and especially, yeah, just, I guess, let it come to me if, if that makes any sense on that one. And, uh, and I, I'm sure it will, uh, but for sure in the future, I, I do want to uh, stay, stay in hockey and, 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 and in some ways. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Sarah McClellan. Go ahead, Sarah. Hi, Miko. Congrats, and thanks for doing this. Yeah, hey, how are you? Good, Great how news. are you? Good. Yep. Miko, just, you know, to spend so much time in Minnesota, um, were you still glad, though, to, to go and get this change of scenery in Columbus? And even though it was short, were you still glad that you got to experience that newness with another organization? Yes, I am. I'm, I, I truly am. Uh, and uh, like I said, the time in Minnesota, it's obviously very special for myself and, and, uh, and, and the years and, and everything that I, I, I got to experience there. Uh, that will always be uh, the team that obviously drafted me and, and, and all the years that I spent there. But I, I think even if it's a short period of time here, uh, I just I, I think I learned a lot. And then and, and just seeing a little bit, uh, obviously, a different view. Uh, how how they run the, the the team and the organization here. Uh, there's always differences in, in in each team and and then things like that. So uh, uh, and like I said, the, the teammates here, uh, great room, uh, great coaching staff, uh, 
And then obviously uh, with, with manager uh, Kekalainen uh, from Finland, I knew him from the past. And, and so that was all what I expected to be. And a very honest environment and in all the values that I <clears throat> myself I, I, I try to do and I respect as a in, in a hockey player or, or in hockey people in general. And uh, so I'm very glad that I did it. And and also for myself knowing that that I gave it all. Uh, it's just uh, like I said, it's 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 time to let go as as a hockey player for me. And uh, I don't think I would get this feeling uh, if I didn't come and try it. And uh, but like I said, at the end, I, I I need to be honest with myself as well. Lastly, what what would it mean to you if if you know down the road when things are normal again, you got to come back to Minnesota and see the fans again? Would that be something you would welcome? One hundred percent. And I I will be back in Minnesota, and uh, and at, at, at some some point. And like I said, that that is a very special bond for me uh, personally, uh, all the years that I spent there and, and, um, the, the way the fans always <clears throat> treated me and, and also, uh, the teams that I was, I was with, uh, the feeling, uh, going to the Excel energy and, and, and just, the just the energy that you have in the building. And then you, you feel like it's, you're, you're one of them. And, uh, so I will never, never forget that. And for sure, uh, I'll, I'll be back there, uh, just in a, obviously in a, in a different role uh, that that I'm used to. But uh, uh, I will enjoy that. For sure. Thanks, Miko. Take care, and all the best to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Next, we'll go to Dave Messold. Go ahead, Dave. Thanks, Glenn. Congratulations, Miko. Awesome. Career. Thank you. Um, as surprised as all of us were to see the release, can you give us just some indication of what it was like when you approached uh, Yarmo and Torts this morning? Were they were they surprised, shocked? Uh, what just give us an idea of, of how that went? Well, I think on that part, uh, you will have to ask 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 them as well. Uh, can again speak for them, but but I like I said, they were very respectful, uh, very supportive, and, and we had a really really good talk uh, with with the both of them. And uh, uh, like I said, uh, just honest environment uh, since day one I got here, uh, both with Yarmo and, and on Torch as well. And uh, I, I just, uh, uh, it was a very, very good, honest conversation. And, and, and they understood uh, very kind of, they understood where I'm coming from. And, and they, I, I, I think they appreciate the honesty from me as well and uh, uh that was hard uh, it was hard to go into that meeting and and then kind of know what to expect but uh like i said after that meeting uh the feeling what i had was very relieved and and, and like i said they were very supportive for now and then for the future as well so uh uh it was it was something that uh obviously i'll, I'll never forget that that meeting and uh but i think that tells everybody everything about those uh uh, them too, like the way they run their team and, and, and what they expect from, from their players and, and, and every, everyone in the organization. And I, I really got that feeling from the meeting as well. And uh, like I said, very honest, uh, uh, clear uh, from both ways and uh, uh, nothing but respect for those two. And I think uh, now we can finally have the question answered, who was the better Felino, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm still going to leave that one, <laughs> not, not to answer that one, but uh, no, to, to be honest, they're, they're a great, uh, uh, obviously great players, but, but even better, uh, uh, better persons, uh, both of them, and then uh, had a chance to also uh, uh, meet their dad last year, and, and they're a great, great hockey family, and, and uh, uh, one of the better uh, teammates that I've, I've ever had, both of them. Thank you, Miko. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions for Miko, either English or uh, Finnish? Okay, we have a question in Finnish from Vili Toru. Go ahead, Vili. Kun syksyllä teit sopimuksen, niin ajatuksena varmaan oli, että pelaat koko, koko tämän kauden. Missä kohtaa se todellisuus ikään kuin iski vasten kasvoi? Ja yllättikö se, 
kun puhuit tuossa, et ollut, ette ollut enää sillä pelillisellä tasolla kuin halusit. Äh, en mä tiedä, yllättikö se siis, totta kai sitä varmasti, äh, totta kai jokainen yksilö on erilainen ja, 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 ja näin poispäin, mutta, mutta sanotaan, että Ehkä se myöskin, sanotaan se mun pelityyli ja, ja tapa, millä mä aina pelasin peliä, niin, niin se myöskin tavallaan tarvitsee sen, että, että, että se tunne, tunne ja palo on, on, on siinä pelissä mukana ja, ja, ja sitä ei vaan niin löytynyt ja, ja sitä kautta mä en niin päässyt tavallaan siihen pelin ytimeen enää kiinni. Ja yllättikö se, niin varmasti se yllätti. Mutta mut ei se ollut tavallaan niinku mikään yksittäinen hetki tai yksittäinen peli, että et tota, et siihen sisältyy oikeastaan kaikki niin harjoitteluja ja, ja, ja totta kai se pelitilanne sitten itsessään ja itseluottamus on varmasti iso osa sitä ää, myöskin. Ja, ja, ja sitten niin kuin sanoin, että tavallaan koska se aina on, itse olen uskonut siihen, että, että tavallaan se pelaaja on, niin se on jäällä, kun sen jään ulkopuolellakin, ja, ja itse olen kokenut, että jotta on niin kuin, tavallaan vahva ääni myöskin pukukopissa, mitä kokeneelta pelaajalta myöskin tarvitaan, ää, ja mihin itse olen niin kuin, henkilökohtaisesti tottunut ja nauttinut siitä ää, myöskin roolista, niin, niin mä jotenkin en, en tuntenut sitä, että mä pystyn niin kuin, ihan ää, omana itsenä olemaan joukkuessa, ja ja tavallaan niin johtamaan sitä, koska se pelillinen esitys ei ollut sitä, mitä, mitä enää itse tavalla itseltä vaatii. Ja, ja se tavallaan kokonaisuus, niin, ää, niin, niin se tavallaan sitten ajoi tähän pisteeseen, että, että mä halusin olla itselleni rehellinen ja, ja, ja ää, tehdä päätöksen ää, nyt jo keskellä kautta. Tiesitkö viime sunnuntaina, että oli uran viimeinen ottanut, kun pelasit sen? Tai osaisitko aavistaa? Varmasti siis, en mä nyt tietenkään sillä fiiliksellä mennyt, että se on, on viimeinen, enkä, enkä miettinyt asiaa, kun peli oli ohi, ää, koska sitten taas seuraavana päivänä jo pelattiin, missä en sitten ollut enää mukana, mutta tota, mut niin kuin sanoin, että ei tämä ole mikään yhden päivän tai yhden yön ää, päätös, vaan kyllä se on tässä pikkuhiljaa kypsynyt ja, ja tota, nyt te vaan jotenkin tuntuu, että et, et, et on hyvä aika ja, ja se, tavallaan se tunne vahvistuu vahvistui oikeastaan koko ajan ja, ja, ja päivä päivältä oikeastaan enemmän. Ja, ja sitten myöskin muun muassa on reilua niin joukkokavereita kohtaan. Ja täällä on monta nuorta ää, hyvää pelaajaa, ketkä, ketkä tavallaan kun se rosteri on, on tota, joka pelin rajallinen, niin aina joku istuu katsomossa. Ja, ja siinä kohtaa se ei ole myöskin niitä kohtaa reilu muun muassa sitten, sitten joukkuetta kohtaan. Ja, 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 ja kyllä muun muassa sitten Pitää kuitenkin itsellään olla rehellinen, että et, tota, et kun sitä pelistä ei pysty enää samalla tavalla nauttimaan kuin kun aina, aina ennen ja, ja ei pääse tavallaan sille samalle tasolle, ää, missä, missä tavalla haluaa, enkä tarkoita, että et, et 37-vuotiaana olet 25-vuotiaan tasolla, mutta kuitenkin se, se pelillinen taso, mitä, millä tuntuu, että se pystyt auttamaan joukkuetta, niin, niin siihen mä en enää päässyt ja, ja, ja siinä kohtaa pitää olla itselle rehellinen. Oliko tuossa kysyä vielä viimeisessä tuosta, kun tuosta vähän englanniksi on asiasta kysyttiin, mutta, ja varmaan vaikea jäsennellä näin heti lopettamispäätöksen jälkeen, mutta pystytkö nostamaan mitään nyt heti tuoreeltaan niin yksittäisiä, yksittäisiä huippuetkiä sinun uralta? Olet kuitenkin pelannut NHL lisäksi myös lukuisia arvokisoja kapteenina ja muuta. No joo, sanotaan, että, että totta kai niin kun, se on vaikea nyt lähteä tavallaan jäsentelemään niitä, niitä hetkiä ja ja, ja tavallaan, koska enemmän sitä tässä kohtaa vielä katsoo taaksepäin niin kokonaisuutena. Mutta, tota, mutta tietysti se aina on äh, ehkä aina erotellut itsekin tavallaan sen NHL-uran ja, ja sitä kautta sitten se maajoukkueuran. Että tota, totta kai nhl on, on, on vahvat sitä, että on, on sinne minnoistan suuntaan ja, ja tota, tavallaan ne vuodet ja, ja kaikki, mitä siellä sai viettää. Ja, ja, mutta sitten tietysti maajoukkue, niin se on, on kyllä niin itsellä ollut niin isossa arvossa, että sitä on vaikea sanoilla kuvailla, että ja kuinka paljon se on antanut mulle jääkiekkoilijana ihmisenä, ja kuinka paljon ylpeyttä se tuo, kun saa kantaa Suomen paitaa pelaajana. Ja noin on asioita, mitä tulee varmasti äärettömän paljon kaipaamaan, ja sitä fiilistä ei ikinä enää saa, mitä 
NHLn pudotuspeleissä tai taikka siinä kotiyleisön edessä pelaamista, tai Suomen maajoukkuessa olympialaiset, kotikisat ja, ja tietysti sitten se maailmanmestaruus kurununa, niin, niin noin on asioita, mitä, mitä ei enää omalle kohdalle tuu ja, ja, ja se on tietysti niin haikea, haikea fiilis, ja, ja, mutta sitten mä myöskin yritän sitä katsoa siltä kantilta, että kuinka paljon mä oon jääkiekolta saanut ja, ja, ja eri joukkueilta ja joukkuekavereilta ja, ja, ja valmentajilta ja huoltajilta ja, ja siihen liittyy niin paljon asioita, että, että, että kyllä sitä on vaikea niin sanan kuvailla ää, niitä, niitä fiiliksiä ja, ja tota, kokemuksia, mitä on jääkiekolta saanut ja, ja siitä mä tulen olemaan Ikuisesti kiitollinen. Kiitos, Mikko. Thank you. Thanks, Mikko. And thanks everyone for uh, joining today. Uh, appreciate your all the time you had with the Blue Jackets, Mikko. And best of luck. Thank you. Thank you all. Thanks, Mikko.